Even to this day on the menu at many restaurants, you'll see an egg white omelet. Like that's a good choice. It's not a good choice. You're, you're getting rid of one of the most healthful parts of the egg, the yolk. You know, rich in, in B vitamins, but also containing the cholesterol, the good part of the egg. So it's time that we get back to some rationality about the foods that we're eating. Dandelion greens are really rich in prebiotic fiber. What, what's really cool about it, because we're going to cook these now, is that when you cook foods rich in prebiotics, you don't lose the prebiotic fiber content. So cook away. Why not? What should families know that you know they're very busy, the parents rush to work in the morning, they don't have time to, to do this for their children. They end up serving bisquick, instant pancakes and... Well, I mean, as parents, you really want to do the right thing for your kids. And I think parents have gotten the wrong idea in general about the whole breakfast thing. I mean, we think in America that we want to have the farmer's breakfast where we load up with carbs. And that is, you know, a good way to have your kids crash and burn mid-morning when they're in school. Because their sugar levels are going to skyrocket the pancreas, which works well in kids, secretes insulin, then blood sugars plummet, and then they're wacky at 10 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, some of these kids end up getting medicated because they just don't have a good enough fuel for their brain. So they're, they're having their pancakes or their waffles and the toast. They pour the syrup all over it. That really isn't maple syrup. It's some kind of corn syrup with uh, caramel coloring or who knows what, what they're having and a glass of orange juice, which is basically pure sugar. And that's how parents are sending their kids on, on their way to school. Kids should have more protein in the morning and higher levels of good fat. Uh, so scramble up a couple of eggs. Now for us uh, older individuals, uh, you know, it's not the, the worst idea to skip breakfast and extend your evening fast from dinner the night before to maybe lunch the next day. Don't eat anything, you'll do fine and it emulates what humans have done for a long, long time in terms of not having food, turning on some very protective, life-sustaining, health-sustaining genes. So you're changing your genetic destiny. Well, would you look at that? Let's just fold in some of our vegetables, our wonderful sauteed uh, onions and dandelion greens. Again, lots and lots of olive oil. We'll talk about that, but um, you know, you want to get your extra virgin olive oil. It's got lots of polyphenols in it. Studies are, are now coming out showing that adding fat to the Mediterranean diet amplifies how good it is for you. So, you want to just lots and lots of that. It's up to you, but that's that's how much I like to use. Tell me when to quit. Way to go, Max! Wow, this looks awesome. Well, I'm interested to see how you like it. <laughs> I've never seen olive oil poured so liberally. Right? Oh yeah. It's, it looks amazing. Well, you know, in the study I had mentioned here earlier, uh, those individuals were using a liter of olive oil a week, each person. Wow. Why not? I mean, it kind of rewrites the story on fat. Added, added fat. Downtown, isn't it? So good. Oh my God. <laughs>